In this video, I'll be teaching you what you can do if you want to drain the ink tanks on your HP Smart Tank 580. Now, if you don't have a 580 model exactly, but another HP Smart Tank, then this should be the solution for you as well. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't uh, an exact way recommended by HP, but there is enough of method which I'm going to show you how to do, uh, but it is not recommended, however, so um, it's best not to do it if you can help it. But if you put the wrong ink, for example, in, or you need to change it for whatever reason, there is a way that we can do this. So I'm going to explain that uh, now for you. So what you want to do is just to open up this front tray here, and you'll see that you have a clear view of the ink tanks. And now if you lift up the lids for each of those, you'll see that there's a screw there's four screws here for each one. And what you can do is take off this plastic shield. And from there, you can um, adjust and pull out the uh, tanks. And this will be able, this will give you an ability to uh, empty them out and drain them and then refill them. Uh, of course, as I said before, it's not recommended. So if it doesn't work, then um, that will be a little bit of an issue for you. But if you really need to do it, then you may have to uh, experiment a bit with this. Alternatively, if you um, take a piece of tape and put it over here, you'll be able to flip over the printer onto its sort of onto the top. And if you put a straw over the cap here, so you see there's like a sort of mouth of the tank. And if you find a straw that you can fit on top of that, then you'll be able to um, drain it out by uh, flipping it over and then letting gravity just drain it out. But make sure to tighten it with uh, something like a paper clip maybe that you can really secure it on nice and tight. And this would uh, mean that it doesn't fall out and then leak everywhere with the ink. That's quite messy, of course, ink. So you don't want to get it all over the place or all over the printer and then all over your paper as a result of that. So that is the uh, viable solution to that. But if you don't want to do that, then uh, there's ways, of course, that you can do a couple tests via the app. So you can do a printhead alignment or printhead cleaning, which uh, is a more recommended way to do this. So I'm gonna show you now on the app how you can do that. Oh, at this point, you should have the app downloaded and um, set up with your printer. If you're not, or you need help with that, then you can check out our other videos where we teach you how to do these steps. So you can look at that and then come back to this one. So once you have the app downloaded and connected to your printer, you're gonna click on the printer itself and that'll bring up these settings. We're gonna to go to the tools section. Now, sometimes it doesn't come up straight away, but you just need to wait for it to sync. And then you've got a few options here. We're gonna to go to the alignment and maintenance. Now this may just take a minute or two to load. So feel free to just wait for that. Here we are. And what we're gonna do is go to the optimize and improve section, and we're gonna align the print head. Now, before you do this, make sure you do have a test page in the back of the printer. So we have an A4 size there. And what we're also gonna do is just to pull out this tray ready to catch the paper once the uh, printhead alignment is complete. So we're gonna go ahead and align. Now this may take a few more minutes as well to load and it's gonna send the signal to the printer. As you can see, the power button has begun to flash, meaning that the printer is processing and it will now begin the printhead alignment. And now the first stage of the alignment is complete. And what you can do is just put your mobile device on the side. We're gonna open up the scanner here, leave it open, and you wanna take the paper that has printed off. Uh, just have a look at it. You can see that all the uh, points are straight and there's no mistakes here. And what we're gonna do is put this flat down into the scanner like so, and make sure that it fills into the left top hand corner and that it lines up with the A4 markings. Uh, I've explained this in a bit more detail as well in the scanning videos with this printer, so feel free to check that out if you're still not sure uh, how to do this effectively. And once that's in place, you can go ahead and close this, go back onto the mobile app, and just have a little read through this to make sure that you've done everything correctly. And then you will press OK, and it will take a scan of the uh, document that you've just put in, which may take just another second or two, so just wait for that. And there you go, after just a minute or two, the alignment has complete, and you can have a look on here, have a little read, and it will just explain for you to recycle or discard the alignment page that you put into the scanner. So you can go ahead and press OK, and that will complete the process. And then you can uh, take out the document here, and then discard as you need, or recycle, of course, is always the best option. Save the planet and all, which is a great thing. 
and then we can go ahead and close this and that should have uh, helped with your issue i hope this video has been useful for you if it has feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe do you leave us any feedback down in the comments below uh, that would be greatly appreciate appreciated uh, i always do appreciate the feedback you give us it really helps me to know what you're looking for in the next videos so I do hope to see you in the next one. My name is Pat and this is Printers with Pat. Thank you very much for tuning in.